Jim, good morning. Uh, day two at Money 2020. Everybody is just arriving. Listen to the atmosphere. It's great and it's lovely to see you again. Great to see you again. Uh, we uh, interviewed you last year and the year before, I believe. I think that's um, right. At the MasterCard Lounge, but you've yes. left. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. So after 10 very happy years at MasterCard and prior to that Vocalink, made the decision to uh, to move on and do something else. You know, a great time there, very proud of what we achieved there. But for me, it was the right time to move on. So what are you doing in your new chapter, please? Yeah, no, I've uh, just joined about a month or so into uh, working with a great reg tech called Consentus. We know who Consentus are. We work very, very closely with them at OBE. But Jim, for our global audience, please share some more. Yeah, no, thanks, Helen. Um, so Consentus is a UK-based fintech completely focused on the open banking world. Um, it started five or so years ago, initially with a very European focus. The original proposition, if you like, was for banks. You know, provide banks with assurance that fintechs, TPPs, who are accessing their customers' data and customer accounts, were correctly licensed and correctly regulated and so on. And they've got, we, I should say now, of course, we have large numbers of European banks as our clients, and that's fantastic. Um, but the business has kind of moved on from there now, as, so as well as that fantastic European heritage and franchise, if you like, uh, taken that another step forward. So, for example, working with countries in many parts of the world now, helping those countries to understand how to capitalize on the open banking, the open finance opportunity, uh, what that could mean for their local economies, and, and how to actually go do it. Um, and part of that, you know, that, that, if you like, that's effectively an advisory capability. Yeah. Uh, and we've got various projects in various parts of the world at the moment and more to come. Uh, but also we've taken that European-centric trust framework capability and kind of turned that into effectively a directory-like service so that for a country implementation, for example, and, you know, some countries need this to make their open banking implementation work. A central directory, a central place to manage the trust, if you like, between banks and third parties and each other to really enable uh, their, that open banking ecosystem. So that capability as well. So an important part of the ecosystem, from what um, you're saying, and I'm you know learning here, is, is that that's essential for any regulator that is launching open banking, open finance in a country that doesn't currently have um, that capability. Yeah, we think it's an important enabler to really, you know, make open banking, make open finance work in that country and make it work seamlessly by providing that central capability. And we've seen that play out in markets like the UK, where of course the directory is part of the UK's implementation as well. Consensus is built on top of that capability now uh, to work internationally and you know, globally now, helping countries, whether that's a central bank or a regulator or a banking association perhaps, understand the opportunities afforded by open banking, open finance, and more importantly, perhaps, how to capitalise on that. So share a little bit more, though. So who would be your, your target audience? Is, mm. is it banks? Is it regulators? And what sort of geographies? Yeah, I mean, so for example, there are two live projects we have, in one in the Philippines, wow. where we're working with the, the central bank. OK. Um, another project in Colombia, where we're working essentially with a banking association, a collective of the major banks in Colombia. So you're going to two, two different franchises, if you like, in terms of organization, but similar sorts of projects. So the Philippines one interests me. There's a, a lot on financial inclusion. Um, I'm wondering you know, how open banking is going to impact that country, particularly uh, you know, to, to have a, a fairer, more democratic society. But also Latin, you know, that's a hot place. What are you doing in Colombia? Yeah, I think you know, in both those countries, our projects are quite similar in the sense of helping the, the local folks really understand what open banking, what open finance could or should mean for their local country, for their economy, yeah. and, and how to capitalize on that opportunity. So whether that's things like, oh, um, the right rules, uh, the right API standards, that sort of thing, leveraging some really deep understanding of what's happening around the world including Europe and not just Europe, you know, what uh, best practice looks like, how to learn from what other markets have done and to kind of take that next step on. Fascinating. And your role there? Yeah, so I'm uh, you know, delighted to have joined the firm. They've asked me to do a couple of things. Um, firstly, to lead that, if you like, non-European, that international expansion, uh, which, you know, yeah. very 
happy to do that. But secondly, I've joined the executive team, I guess, to just add a bit more, uh, in my case, a lot of weight, possibly, <laughs> uh, add a bit, of, a bit of leadership to the, to the team more generally. Okay, well, good luck, Jim. And I do believe you've got some breaking news to share. So love, love to, uh, we like a little bit of a scoop. Love to share it here. Yeah, no, uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, we've just, we're just this morning announcing a relationship with a company called Software AG. You may or may not know them. Very large, Germany-based uh, technology firm. Who, they're fantastic at providing services, particularly API-delivered services to banks. Uh, we've announced a relationship with them today where we'll be working together to help take some of those trust services out to banks. Congratulations, Jim. So it is good to catch up with you. And I just want to change gears slightly because we were on the stage yesterday. We um, opened the um, open banking work stream and I and, and my team at OBE had worked very hard with um, the Money 2020 team to put together that work stream. So it's a real privilege to sit alongside you and, and uh, Nick uh, from GPS and, and, and Tom. And uh, the, the team at Money 2020 told me that we were trending. <laughs> we were one, if not the most uh, popular um, sessions yesterday. Yeah, yeah it was good fun. It was good fun. It was and the, good fun. I mean, seriously, it yeah. was good fun. They were three deep at the back. Yeah, it was all. The audience was huge, which was you know flattering, and you know even better, they stayed all the way through. <laughs> they did. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 going back to sort of Money 2020 and and, and open banking, if you think about you know, three deep at the back, yep. okay. um, it, it, the growth of, of open banking, we've both been in it since the beginning. I mean, what does that say about the amazing industry that we work in? Yeah, I mean, as we said on the panel yesterday, you know, huge amounts being done, but it's really only scratched the surface. Yeah. So I'm very proud of all of the things I've personally been involved in and more generally the, in, the amazing strides the industry's made. But we both know that, you know, the, the opportunities are only just beginning. And, you know, there's obviously lots of cool stuff happening in the UK, in Europe. But if I look around the world as well, I mean, there was a great question from the floor yesterday about in India and the amazing things that are happening on UPI and so on, and now, now building from their payments start point, and it's probably the biggest open banking payment in volume terms in the world. There are some special circumstances to apply, of course. But now moving into the data space as well. And we talked yesterday also about, you know, data use cases and payment use cases. Lots to be done on both, lots happening, lots of new businesses being created. Consensus is, of course, one of those. Uh, so much more. And, you know, the so much more is what excites me. And what do you think we're going to be talking about for open banking this time next year at Money 2020? Yeah, there was a great panel yesterday afternoon, for example, with Eric de Colomier, amongst others from the Commission, talking about what's about to be announced in terms of future regulation here in Europe. You know, and I think we'll have to see, I think it's June the 28th that comes out, we'll have to see what that says. But my sense is it's going to be a big step forward. And I think there'll be a lot of focus on what that means. I think things like moving on from kind of just a kind of compliance agenda to real kind of commercial application, value across the value chain, things like you know, in the UK, VRP, things like SPA in, in, in mainland Europe, in the Eurozone, which, all of which are about truly commercial application of particularly open banking payments. I think that, that's going to be a very big story for the next 12 months, but actually for the next 12 and 25 and 100 years. I am actually really looking forward to um learning more around um, that regulation across Europe. Because when we uh, launched Index at the beginning of the year, uh, the, f the, the data showed that um, in Europe, it, we all know it's got a, a fragmented position, but uh, the, the data showed that people in the ecosystem believe that that was the one single biggest factor that was yeah. holding that market behind. Yeah. So for that to be addressed in a, in a very positive way um, is, is, is for the good of us all, really. Yeah. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And, you know, from what I, what one can see from what Eric and others have so far announced or pre-announced, yeah. um, I think it's going to be a very helpful step forward. And hopefully, you know, we'll see similar things coming out of the UK as the JROC process continues. So, wish you all the best, Jim, in your in your new position. Thank okay. you. Uh, well done um, for that new um, announcement you just made. And good luck. And we'll see you back here next year. Thank you very much. You're very, Absolutely. very welcome, Jim. Have a great day. You too. Thanks.